Hey, what's up, everybody? We back at it with another one. <clears throat> I already got the new bumper. Well, I might, I might go pick it up tomorrow. But somebody texted me talking about they could fix my bumper. So today I'm going to get that looked at before I go buy the bumper tomorrow. <clears throat> but yeah, let's get, let's get into today's topic, bro. Uh, today we're going to be talking about before you buy these cars, before you buy these thousand dollars, and this ain't no thousand dollar a month, but I'm talking about like before you get a Hellcat or a scat pay, you might have bad credit. You might be paying thousand dollars a month for it. You might end up paying thousand dollars per month for a scat for a scat pack or a three nine two. I, I don't I pay I pay probably I pay half of that, bro. I, but but like that's besides the point. But like before you get into these big old car notes, first thing first, bro. Oh you got I'm looking around my surroundings, bro. I just, I got PTSD, bro. Like, how I say this? <laughs> first thing first, bro, is, uh, you got to make sure you can afford insurance. You got to make sure you got money in your pockets just in case some, something like this happens. I got insurance. I got full coverage, but this is a cheap fix. To me, this is a cheap fix. To y'all, I don't know how y'all pockets, I don't know how y'all are financially, but how you say this uh <clears throat> let's say my my deductible is 500 this probably cost me like 600 700 to fix and then on top of that when i fix it it's gonna be on my on my carfax it's gonna devalue the car you know what i'm saying i don't want that to be on my carfax to somebody else somebody i didn't crash a car somebody else hit me so like i don't want their goddamn stupidity to reflect to reflect my goddamn car's history, bro. So I'm gonna fix, I'm gonna fix it out of my pocket, bro. Keep keep my car's value up, and I'm gonna get it fixed the right way, type stuff. I ain't gonna cheap out on it. But <clears throat> before, like, like I said, bro, you got y'all gotta make sure y'all gotta make sure uh, y'all can afford the. I mean, I know y'all y'all gonna make sure I can afford the car note, but y'all gotta make sure y'all y'all can afford the uh, the goddamn um, insurance. Insurance, I pay, I pay almost 600 a month for this car it's crazy huh and though well i paid 500 and some but the only reason i pay that much is because somebody somebody hit my car a while back like it looked exactly a year ago they hit my car like, or almost a year ago and they had insurance so i had to get it fixed with my own insurance somebody with no insurance hit my shit and guess guess what the person that hit me the other day he had no fucking insurance so it's either my insurance or i pay out of my pocket you know what i'm saying so I gotta watch out. Y'all gotta get when y'all get insurance. I gotta get that uh that little. And it's so major because my last hit was a little expensive. How to say this? My my last hit was a little more. How to say this? It was it was close to twenty bands. So you know I let the insurance handle that. But it made my insurance go up by hundred and fifty bucks. So when y'all get insurance, don't think you paying. Let's say you paying five hundred a month. No, let's say you paying, you paying four hundred a month. If somebody hits you, bro, be prepared to pay a couple, a hundred dollars extra, hundred dollars more for insurance at least, minimum. Even if it ain't your fault, bro. So y'all gotta be ready for that. Y'all gotta be ready to drop a bag on, you know, on stuff like that. I'm gonna crank up the car for y'all real quick. Look, it's all ashy, bro. No, I'm gonna get the bumper fixed. <clears throat> Check engine light turned on because of a sensor that detects how fast the. Uh, the car warms up, you know. I already, I already dropped a video how to fix it. I fixed it one time, but the sensor went bad. Jeez, I I mean, you boy smoking, huh? Yeah, bro, that's the only sensor. That's the only thing that code's on for, but. Yeah, bro, y'all gotta have the money, though. Y'all gotta be prepared to drop the money on stuff like that. What's a car? Uh, I mean, car notes, one thing, bro car insurance a whole nother thing bro like and then on top of that if you if you are uh, if you are uh, under 25 bro which i am you're gonna be paying over over 300 easily a month whatever car you get when i had them pilot bro my insurance was 200 for liability bro this boy i got full coverage on this one i got i got like if somebody hits me with no insurance i got almost i got everything on it but i didn't get a rental because i got extra cars I didn't want to get the rental, but how do you say this? Uh, yeah, bro, don't 
before you get and then in general bro what the fuck are you doing on the road with no damn insurance bro like if you got a car <laughs> if you got a fucking car bro you got you got how do you say this I don't I, I don't see you not ha- how do you say having an excuse not to pay insurance cause you got a car bro you got you got access to make more money than the average person to commute to work it, cause you got how do you say this you just gotta be you gotta have the money to pay your insurance bro don't be out here being a dumbass and fuck around you hit somebody let's say let's say I would've been a broke motherfucker you hit my car bro I'm barely doing my car I can barely afford my car no imagine and I don't got insurance bro Imagine I'm gonna be stuck with this car all fucked up until I somehow to come up with the money to fix it. And the car no on top of the car no every month. So just put yourself in that situation, bro. Just think about it. You know, you gotta be smart, bro. Like, you gotta be ready for shit like that. Like how to say it's like I'm not even gonna leave this area, bro. I took I took so many small streets to get over here. Cause I ain't trying to get pulled over. I ain't trying to get pulled over for that headlight. I got. I, I, I've been looking for that little little bracket that goes in the back of the headlight, so I can put it back on. But yeah, bro, like you just gotta be prepared to spend some money, cause owning a, in my opinion, bro, in my opinion, honestly, and this and this and this coming from a guy that owns a, owns one of these type of cars and that, that financed it. If you if you honestly, honestly, bro. If you're making under a thousand dollars a week, and I'm not trying to hate on nobody, I, I, and there's people out here that probably make under a thousand a week that are surviving and making it work, or not even not not even a th- under a thousand a week. If you don't got side hustles, bro, uh, just wait a little bit. Wait, just wait a little bit, bro. Wait to make a little more money or find yourself a little side hustle, bro. Cause uh, having a car like this is already a liability, cause. You got to pay every, especially if you finance it, because you got to pay every month some brakes on it, like, you know, check engine light turns on. That's That little part right there, I got warranty on it, so I'm going to get it replaced for free. I'm going to install it myself, but let's say you don't know how to work on your car, bro. You're going to have to go to a mechanic. Take He's going to charge you and take labor and take the part out and put it back in. And what's it called? That's money right there. It's probably like, he's going to probably charge you like 300 You're going to know like a couple hundred dollars. You're going to have to have a couple hundred dollars to spare here and there. You know, like oil change, not not you know, just before you get into a goddamn car, no, bro. Just be prepared, have money put away, and be you know, be ready to spend some money, bro. It's not just making a car no every month. You know what I'm saying? Like, you got you have money to spend on aftermarket, uh, per, to prevent te- theft. You gotta watch out for the stupid drivers. You gotta pay, you gotta get the premium insurance, bro. Like having having one of these cars is really a liability, and if you're not a if you're not uh willing to spend more than the car payment, bro, don't get one of these cars. It's not it's not the smartest thing you can do. For me, this little that, that bumper is just a small inconvenience, bro. I got I ain't even driving this car right now. I got I'm driving my other cars. You know, I got I got other cars I can drive. This is just my fun car. You know what I'm saying? My fun car, my my hobby. You know what I'm saying? Just. Hot happened some dumb motherfucker that was high happened to blow a red light and he got i got lucky i slammed the brakes and i barely tapped him he didn't get as lucky because i hit him right and got there uh well he got he has a weak suspension and then ended up getting all fucked up but that's on him bro he was driving high bro he was driving hella high bro like that's on him bro blowing red lights thinking it was green like boy what you doing in the street bro driving high as fuck bro like, if you can't if you can't if you can't tell between red or green light, bro, don't be driving in the streets, bro. You're going to fuck somebody's day up. You might fuck around and kill a kid. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I was mad at the moment, but at the end of the day, bro, everybody was good. So that's all that mattered. But yeah, bro, it's just a little small video letting y'all know, bro. Before you buy, not just an SRT, bro, a Camaro or any car you finance in general. Because look, look at it like this. The guy the guy that, uh, the guy that, that, that was in the car crash with me. He was he was mad, bro. He was mad as fuck. He's talking about, bro. I just bought this car, bro. I don't got insurance on it. He fucking, I'm 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 like ninety percent sure he financed that car, bro. What the, what the why the fuck are you? That's a this is a big ass liability, bro. You're taking the loan. Basically, you're taking the loan on something and you're putting it on a dangerous ass. You're you're like, let's say you buy a fucking watch, 
it's more smarter to buy than a fucking fi finance a watch instead of a fucking car. It's smarter to finance a watch because you, you don't got to put the watch through everyday traffic and watch out for dumbass drivers that don't know how to drive or you might fuck around and I know how to drive and crash. If you buy a car, bro, you finance a car, bro, you're basically borrowing money and putting it on the street and gambling with your money if you don't fucking put insurance on it because... You don't know what the fuck is going to happen, bro. You might even have your car parked right there and some dumbass might just fuck around. Boom. Smack your shit, bro. Like, you just got to be ready for shit like that, bro. You, you got to be smart. Don't get don't finance a car, bro, if you're not ready to spend a little extra money, like, here and there or pay for the high-ass insurance. Your insurance is going to be a little higher because your car's going to be financed, bro, too, on the cool. Because you, you basically, you basically protecting your money. You're protecting your investment. This is this a shitty ass investment, but it's an investment you're making to get to point A and to point B. It's not a shitty investment. I love it. It's my hobby, bro. I'm just I'm just talking shit, but and I'm just I'm just trying to I'm just trying to how you say this help you a lot, bro. But yeah, I'm gonna show you the car one more time, one more time, bro. Still running like a fucking champ. Look at this shit, bro. I got lucky with the radiator. It's a little, little dinged up right there. But shit, all I need my other headlights is little. I'm gonna look for this bracket. I know they. I know. I know. I, know I can find it. Oh, I can look there. For, I can look for for this shit right here. I don't know. I'm gonna see if I can find the bracket. Now I'm gonna have to buy a new headlight, which I ain't tripping about. Fuck it, you know. Fucking um. But yeah, bro. Before you buy a car, bro, get just just have your little money put away at least, bro. Y'all gonna thank me later if some shit ever goes wrong. But yeah, I'll catch you on the next one and hopefully I enjoy this little video.